one. Brothers, sisters, listen to me. The devil has sent himself upon us in the most dastardly way possible, attacking not only our preserved dear union, but by attacking the families that make this country as great as it is. What is this simple satanic act, you ask? Why, it is the bottle you hold so dearly to your heart, drowning yourself in the blackness that Satan uses himself to wreak havoc upon the common, just people of our nation. Vote dry, because a drink a day brings Satan your way, and when my son approaches my grave when I'm resting in heaven, I'll be damned if he says that daddy died because he drank. Hear, hear. The devil's drink is the root of all sin and violent behavior. Yeah, sure, it starts in the house. You're drinking, decide to strangle your wife, beat your kids, think it's nothing, but that trail takes hold and you become licentious. You're out there sleeping with random people. You break your bonds with your family, but you also break your bonds with God. It is moral, immoral and unjust. Not only does it affect your relationship with God and your family, but then, hey, you out there start committing crimes. You're slapping society in the face. You're betraying your coworkers, your bosses, and even the underlings who have to dig your graves. It is a tragedy, and it must be stopped. Vote dry, because it's the moral, virtuous thing to do. Casual drinking leads to addiction. Sir, you think one drink a day isn't really that bad, but a drink turns into drinking for the whole day, turns into a week, turns into a month, turns into a year. Then you're poor, you're out on the streets. You don't have money to finance your family. You're a pauper on the street, and you must have others finance you for you to drink in a house of alms. Your family's out on the street cold. Your children are crying so they can't be fed, and your wife is there begging you to help her, but you can't. Because you decided to drink. It must be stopped. We cannot let the paupers move of us anymore. We work hard for our money. I work we hard in the factories for 12 hours a day to earn my wages. Why should I have to support these delinquents while they drink my hard-earned money away? You should not. It is unfair, unjust, and undemocratic for others to be leeching off other people. We believe in freedom of equality and opportunity, but what? We just don't do it? We would just leech off others? It is not okay. It must be stopped. An opponent, Christopher Columbus Baldwin, once said this. It is one of the faults of the day to occupy so much of our time in recommending the practice of virtue that we have no time left in us to perform it. So true it is, so true it is that when mankind undertakes a reformation, they are always running into extremes. We, my friends, must work to seek democratic, as in subject to all man's will, reform instead of extremes that we are currently preaching. We just not must just say that we want virtue. We must do it. We must act. And that's something we must change in society. Many may say, yeah, sure, this isn't really democratic. You're restricting people's rights. But yes, we are not that democratic because we're looking to restrict one right to drink. But it's for the, however, it's necessary to protect the community's overall happiness and ability to prosper and grow. Brothers, sisters, listen to me. The devil has sent himself upon us in the most dastardly way possible, attacking not only our preserved dear union, but by attacking the families that make this country as great as it is. Why, it is the bottle you so hold so dearly to your heart, drowning yourself in the blackness that Satan himself uses to wreak havoc upon the common, just people of our nation that is destroying us. Vote dry. Because a drink a day brings Satan your way. And when your son approaches your grave and you're resting in heaven, you'll be damned if he says that daddy died because he drank.